the Great Recession and has the economic recovery stalled? Consumers are having second thoughts about the recovery. Shoppers are losing confidence, becoming more concerned about low pay and a weak job market than about bargains, and their worries are threatening to drag down the economy. And when they stand up, they fall back down again. A report released Friday showed that consumer confidence fell in July to its lowest point in 11 months. A volatile stock market, near double-digit unemployment, lackluster wage gains, and a stalled housing market have raised serious fears that the recovery is on the verge of stalling. Americans reacted by clamping down on their spending in May and June. Many cut back after the stock market lost about 10% of its value over the past three months as Europe's debt crisis shook Wall Street. The resulting loss of household wealth has left many Americans less inclined to spend. So in other words, it's also a mental state of affairs. Retail sales were weak this spring and probably slow growth in the second quarter. Consumer spending accounts for approximately 70% of growth. So if consumers don't spend, there will be no economic recovery. And with unemployment at 9.5%, shoppers are likely to not spend like they used to. If they retrench sharply, businesses could cut back on hiring. Potentially, the economy could slip back into recession. The odds of that happening, while still low, have risen in the past three months, economists say. Consumers are hitting the reset button now after they were pretty engaged in their spending earlier this year, said an economist at IHS Global Insight. People are saying, time out. The economy isn't progressing the way we thought it would. Yes, and this time it's different. There's never been times like these before, and there'll never be times like these again. Their confidence isn't likely to brighten the summer. The index of consumer sentiment sank to 66.5 in early July from 76, according to the twice-monthly survey by the University of Michigan. That's the lowest point since August 2009. The drop in confidence, along with uneasiness about future bank earnings rattled Wall Street. The Dow Jones Industrial Average tumbled over 261 points to a close at 10,097.90. Many shoppers are holding on to their money even though prices on most goods fell for the third straight month. The Consumer Price Index, the government's most closely watched inflation gauge, dipped 0.1% in June, the Labor Department said. Lower energy bills were a big factor behind the drop. Prices for some food, airline fares, computers, phone service, and personal care products theoretically also fell in June. When you exclude the volatile categories of energy and food. Prices were essentially flat for the month. Core prices have risen only 0.9% over the past year officially. That's below the Fed's inflation target and it means core inflation is at a 44 year low. The recent stretch of falling prices at the consumer and wholesale level has stirred talk of possible deflation a widespread and prolonged period of falling wages and declining prices on some retail goods, real estate and stocks. America's last serious case of deflation was during the depression of the 1930s. Again, and when they stand up, they go backwards or fall back down. Most economists do not believe deflation will happen, though some Fed officials have recently raised such concerns. With inflation supposedly 
largely non-existent. Workers have a little more buying power. Average hourly earnings adjusted for inflation rose a little 0.6% for the 12 months ended June. Because inflation as measured by the government has essentially disappeared, the Federal Reserve has even more leeway now to keep a key interest rate at a record low near zero. Many economists think the economy's growth will slow down in the second half of this year to a subpar 2% range from a modest 3% in the first half. That is, if all goes well. An economy that is fragile is more vulnerable to shocks that could easily send it into reverse. Global oil prices have been falling amid fears that the European debt crisis will hurt growth on the continent and slow the global recovery. But still, shoppers have felt the pinch elsewhere. Prices for medical care, which continue to outpace overall inflation, rose 0.3%. Education costs rose 0.4%. Clothing prices increased 0.8%, the most since February 2009. There is a sense of frustration on the part of consumers. The job market is certainly weaker than many had hoped. The stock market has been lackluster. We get negative headlines that grind on day after day. The BP oil spill, talk of a double dip recession, the weather, and many other things. All this explains why Americans, American Consumers' spirits are down. And yes, again, these are times like never seen before and will never be again. There's nothing normal about these times. Everything that must change must change quickly or rapidly and for the better because it's about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations the people or the children to come. Revelation chapter 5 And I saw on the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals. 2. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? 3. And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. 4. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. 5. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. 6. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. 7. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. 8. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. But thou was slain, and has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred, and every language, and people, and nations. 10. And has made us unto our God, leaders and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And yes, it's time. The time has come, and all these are more signs.